All right, how you doing? Mr. DJ's back. My computer just cut off on me. My PC ran into an error and had to correct itself right in the middle of me doing this video. So let's do another take on this video. And uh, gosh, one of my favorite songs from late summer 1994. Hitline was all over this one. Music's top 40 outlet. Boy, Hitline, they sure made my decay the 90s. If it wasn't for, for Hitline, my, my, my fancy playlist would not have been near as rich as they turned out to be. But highest debut at number 33, a band from Chicago, Freddie Jones Band, in a daydream. Although they had a southern sound, they were influenced by, well, a wide range of artists from Bob Dylan to Dwayne Allman to Little Feet, Eric Clapton. And, uh, well, they started in South Bend, Indiana. It was lead singer, lead guitarist Wayne Healy. He teamed up with a guy named Marty Lloyd. <clears throat> they moved to Chicago. They met up with a couple of guys, and they formed the Freddie Jones Band. They signed with the Capricorn Record Label, the legendary Capricorn Record Label. Now, Capricorn Record Label, uh, they they were the Southern Rock Label. Wet Willie, uh, Marshall Tucker Band. Oh, gosh, who else? I wrote, wrote it down. There's an assortment of bands. The Outlaws, Alvin Bishop, Stillwater. Stillwater had that brilliant song, Mindbender, in 1978. Among the artists that were on the Capricorn Record Label. Capricorn Record Label, though, went bankrupt in 1979, but it reemerged from Nashville in, in the early 90s uh, as part of a distribution deal with uh, Warner Brothers, I believe, and they signed, a, well, they signed a brand new generation of artists. They, they signed wide, Widespread Panic, 311, remember 311 from the nice? They signed up with the Capricorn record label, Cake on Capricorn. Kenny Chesley, Chesney read that Kenny Chesney, Chesney had released, then unknown artist Kenny Chesney had released his first album off a of Capricorn record label. All in all, um, Freddie Jones Band, they released eight albums, about eight albums, but some of those were compilation albums and live albums. They released about four studio albums, maybe three. And I uh, believe this was from the album called Lucid. Couldn't get the uh, title, couldn't get the song tracks off the album. So I believe this is from Lucid, which came out in 1994. For those of you who might want to download this song off of iTunes, it should be available on iTunes. It was a great record. It was uh, Wayne Healy described the music of the Freddie Jones Band as a cross between Southern rock and Chicago blues, and this was a fantastic. Just a fantastic late summer soundtrack. Just imagine you're sitting in, the back, in your backyard, you're, you're reclining in a recliner, and the, the sun is sinking in the west. It's kind of hot, maybe about 85 or not 89 degrees. You're drinking a couple of brews, and, it's, and this song is playing on the radio, on the satellite radio. Per perfect soundtrack. That's it's just got that vibe to it. That laid back southern vibe. <laughs> that mint julep vibe. <laughs> Freddie Jones band at number thirty three on my fantasy playlist, July twenty fourth, nineteen ninety four.